What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video we're going to be doing another My US unboxing. So we're going to talk a little bit about the My US box. Also we're going to take a look at what we managed to get and show you just what we picked up through the My US account. So what we do is we get pops from, well at the moment we're just getting Funko Shop pops and we're getting them from the Funko pop-up shop and they're being sent over to our My US account and then our My US account is shipping them to us. So someone said that was a bit vague explaining it. So I'll try and explain it into a, um, a terms that's hopefully a lot easier for you guys uh, to understand. So basically you just buy normally from the My US shops, you have them shipped over to your My US, they stay in there until you're happy to get them out. So generally I just do FedEx one to four days once we've got about seven pops in there, say seven to ten pops because you want to make it worth it. If you just do one pop, you're going to be spending a lot of money to get that one pop over here and it's not going to be worth it. So you want to make sure you've got at least seven to ten pops or even more and then once you've got them in you put in the values of how much you think they are, how much they're worth and then they will package them all together in a box just like this one here and then they will ship them over okay so that usually costs around about 30 pounds for that to be shipped over the customs charge is usually around about 23 to 30 pounds for the custom charge on top of that as well okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to just take them out of the box and show you what we've got and then we're going to give you a nice detailed look at what is that are you ready yes. i believe we explain it did you understand that scratch yes okay cool we'll all start big shall we Okay, so the first one is um, a Funko Shop exclusive. So we'll have a look. What do you think of this? Well, uh, it looks like a tiger. A tiger? Is that giving you a clue? This guy has no idea what's in any of these. So let's have a quick look. So again, they packaged it in here. You saw me take off the uh, top. So there's loads of packaging. There's loads of bubble wrap in here, so they package it really well. And if they're in sorter boxes, they will leave them in the sorter box. I don't know how we can get this out. What if I hold it in? Yeah, maybe. You got it? Yeah. There you go. Oh, I was right. It's a tiger. Yeah, so what is it? It's Tony the Tiger. So Tony the Tiger. So this was a Funko Shop exclusive Tony the Tiger. This is a 10 inch Tony the Tiger. We don't have the other ones because we weren't in the pop game when we were collecting uh, Funko Pop. So we weren't there for the normal Tony the Tiger, the Fox Tony the Tiger, so we didn't get any of those. But we do love them. That is, you know, our childhood right here. This is what I used to eat uh, when I was younger. So Frosted Flakes and just a normal uh, Kellogg's Flakes as well. So there you go. So it's nice to have uh, a bit of our you know childhood here in a Funko Pop. Did you want to take him out of the box? Yes. Should we have a look at him? Okay. Right, so we'll open him from the bottom because a lot of people will be running at us if we open it from the top because if it gets damaged then it's at the bottom. There is a tiny little bit of damage here. Do you see that little crease? Oh yeah. There, but nothing major. I don't know if you can see that there. There's a tiny bit of damage there, but the rest of the box, absolutely mean condition. Except from that bit there as well. That's that tiny bit. Well, that's just the, the window. Someone's just not put the window in properly. Okay, so let's get him out and have a quick look at Tony the Tiger. Flip him up this way. Is he going to come out again? Oh, he's so cool, isn't he? Pop the box down there for a second. Yeah, so pull these. Oh, there you go. Does he come out okay? He shouldn't be a bubble head, but so. Uh, there you go. Isn't he cool? Yeah. So that is the 10 inch Tony the Tiger. So do you want me to just take him quickly close so people can have a look? So there he is. That's the front of him. Such a cool pop. He's so good. And then that's at the back. Great detail. On his uh, scarf there, it says Tony. And his hand, I thought his hand moved then. Yeah, Maybe not, I like think it's just does. his head. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so to compare him to a normal size pop, we'll just grab this one here. So you can see the 10 inches are a lot bigger, obviously, than a normal size pop. But again, such a great addition for the collection 
really uh, excited to be able to add this one to the collection as well. So there we go. So we'll just leave them out of the box for now. We'll put them. We'll put them inside. We'll put him there so people can see him. Right. So the next one it hasn't got packaging, but again, it's still in mint condition. And the next one is from My Hero Academia, and that is All Might. So this is. A Funimation exclusive, so I managed to grab him from Funimation. He has actually been reduced now, which is quite annoying. Um, but yeah, so he was on there, managed to grab him, had him sent over to there. So should we get him out, have a quick look at him? No. I love the black box. The black box is absolutely amazing. Really do like the black box on this one. So let's do that. You can see his little feet. So let's pop that there. And we open that up. You want to take them out? He's all plasticky. He probably feels like plasticky. Yeah, he does. Does he? He's really light as He's really light. So this <laughs> is all my... He is such a great one. I know every, people do hate on the chromes. Some people don't love the chromes. But you know what? He is really good. He's such a big pop as well. So he's not even a small pop. He's actually quite a big pop. So there you go. That's the back of him there. And compared to Tony the Tiger... He is way smaller, so he can stand in front of Tony and sit there for a minute. Right, so the next one that we picked up, do you want to open this one? And you see if you know who they are. So we've got three more. So how many do we get in this box? One, two, three, four, five in this box, but we did have a 10 inch, so that's why we uh, got them out quite quickly. Pop this down. Do you want me to open that up? So just take it from the side of this. Just dab it out. So who's that? It's Officer Freddy. So Officer Freddy, he took a while to sell out when he came out. Uh, he, he didn't sell out fast, which I was quite surprised. So I don't know why people are hating on the Freddies, but Freddy Funko is uh, the you know the reason Funko is Funko because they are is the mascot for Funko so there you go and Funko means what Sky do you know what Funko means no. it means fun company and that's what it is so we'll quickly take him out of the box so we can get a nice detailed look of him there you go do you want to pop him out pop his box over here So he's basically like a New York um, City police officer, I guess. That's, that must be what they're going for. So he is the mascot, um, you know, for the New York Comic Con, as well as um, another, a couple of other ones that were there as well. So there you are. So that is uh, the Freddy Funko police officer. Right, we've got another one. Should we do two at once? Yes. Mine's got a purple sticker. Yours got a So that is Paul, I think it's Pauly Pigeon, isn't it? Is it Polly or Polly Pigeon? Is it Polly Pigeon or Pauly Pigeon? I, am. I think it's Pauly Pigeon. Pauly Pigeon, okay, we'll go for Pauly Pigeon. We're not sure, guys, if we're saying it wrong, tell us in the comment section below. Although you're probably just going to spell it and then we'll just say it wrong, um, but it doesn't matter anyway. So there you go, do you want to try and date that one out? So the, there is a white version of this as well, where he's wearing a white vest, and he is the mascot, the same as the Toucan, it's just at the back there, the same as the Toucan was the mascot for the SDCC, this one's the, the mascot for the NYCC coming from, so it was cool that Funko have done this. There you go, so what's the condition like? I think your one had a little mark on the box, but other than that I think it was alright. They're quite heavy aren't they? Well, so fun. they're like superhero pigeons. Yeah, it has like a... Little dot on its yeah. nose. Quality control from Funker, that's what it is. So there you go. So they are the superhero pigeons. There's one right there. And that is the back of it. There you go. So can you see him there? It's a pop in there. And then your one... Not great condition, right? Yeah, not great. Not the best <laughs> condition in the world. And he's smaller. He is a lot smaller. So let me just take that one. You pop that one in. So they're both the same design. They've got the same, um, what should we say, pose. 
So they've got the same pose, but they are different in what they're wearing. So that's the one there. So it just says on the front, it says New York Comic Con. So just to prove that it's a New York Comic Con one. These didn't sell out on the Funko shop. These are still up to buy. So if you are on the fence with these, and now that you've had a good look at them, uh, maybe you want to go check one out. So there you go. So that was it for our New York Comic Con um, haul there and also the Funko Shop releases that we had. We will we are, have started to get a few more uh, into the My US to be able to bring them out. Again, if you have any questions uh, how you use My US uh, in the UK, then just don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below which one of these was your favourite. Did you like Tony the Tiger, the All Might, um, the Police Officer Freddy, which is really cool. Just want to quickly show you him again. So that's Police Officer Freddy, he's so cool. Um, or the Pauly Pigeons, and then also we will try and get hold of the one that's wearing the white um, costume or, or the white superhero costume as well. So, yeah, so we're going to try and do that. So, yeah, so have a vote on what one your favourite is. What one's your favourite? Um, it's between these two. Tony the Tiger and All Might, yeah? Yeah. So there you go guys, tell us what your one is and we'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already just by clicking the subscription button just down below here and we'll see you on the next one. Take care now guys, bye bye.